In this video, we're going to be showing you our new EasyPrep macro for CorelDRAW. Now, EasyPrep does work with CorelDRAW X5 and CorelDRAW X6 32-bit version. We do have a 64-bit version planned for CorelDRAW X6 users down the road a little bit. Um, but what EasyPrep does is it fills a need that we get questions a lot of how do I create a simulated rhinestone design to send to a customer for approval. Now, there are many, many rhinestone programs out there in the marketplace, but most of them don't have a great uh, way to export a design, a simulated rhinestone design to send to our customer for approval. Some of them don't do it at all and some of it some of them do but don't do it in a way that looks very realistic. And this is where Easy Prep really shines because it allows us to easily create these mock-ups. But there are several other features here in Easy Prep and we're not going to be able to cover them all, but we are going to cover three very common tasks and then you'll see where Easy Easy Prep plays a role. So if you have Corel Draw, great because you need Corel Draw to work with Easy Prep. Now, if you're using any type of rhinestone software outside of CorelDRAW, that's fine. You're going to find EasyPrep to be a very useful tool. Now, if you're using our EasyStone macro, I will point out that we have a great discount for EasyPrep for all of our EasyStone macro users. But uh, we, EasyPrep does not require the use of our EasyStone macro. So let's go ahead and just kind of sh run down these three most common tasks. And this is where our Easy Stone or Easy Prep will really uh, come into play here. So, first things first, let's say we purchase a design f from some third party company. Um, now, I'm going to go ahead and import one of our EPS files. And all of our EPS files come color separated for us. But I'm going to ungroup because when we import an EPS, um, it will always be grouped. So let's go ahead and get rid of our color separations for now. And take a look at the design. So let's say we purchase the design. It comes to us like this. It's not color separated. It comes to us just like this. And now what we want to do is we want to turn it into a simulated rhinestone design. So if I were to select this design currently, come over here to Easy Prep and choose Simulate, it says simulation in progress. Oh, well, great. So then we just sit back and watch it simulate. It only takes a few seconds. And then it will tell us that the simulation is complete. Fantastic. There's only one small problem. It's not actually simulated. <laughs> um, and that's a problem because we do want it simulated. So let's go ahead and select this box around the design and let's just make it black. And why did it not simulate? Well, the reason it didn't simulate is because Easy Prep, as good as it is, it's not genius. So what we have to do is we have to be able to define all of these individual circles. You see them here. They're all just say curve. We have to be able to define those into an actual stone color and, most importantly, a stone size. So this is where Easy Prep comes into play. So we can take any rhinestone design from from any either rhinestone design software or if we purchase a rhinestone design and we need to convert it for easy prep use it's very very easy so what we're going to do is again we select the entire design and we're going to in this case we're going to choose process by color and you're going to see a color appear and then we can just define what color what stone color we want so for this it's going to be crystal we hit process by color again and then this is going to be black so let's just come down here and let's define it as jet black. And then for our last color, let's go ahead and define this one as citrine. So now that we've defined all of our shapes, now if I select them, you can see over here in the object manager, let me just zoom in tight here so we can see this. So this stone right here is an SS6, where this stone right here is an SS10. So you see Easy Prep is smart. It takes the size of our our object and it defines whether or not it's an SS6, 10, 16, and so forth. Um, so that's really cool because it does all that for us automatically. So now we can get a real accurate stone count using the stone count feature here in Easy Prep. But I want to show you the simulation function now. So now that we've defined these stones to be something, now we can choose simulate 
and once again easy prep will analyze the design so it's going through looking at every single color every single stone in the design and then it's going to simulate it now this does take you know up, upwards of a minute maybe two minutes at the very most depending on the size of the design now this is a fairly good size design it's 1300 stones um, but you can see it didn't take very long for it to simulate and you can see now we have a nice simulated rhinestone design so now we can go ahead and send this to a customer for approval so the next thing I would do is choose the watermark feature here in easy prep now there are a lot of features here um, we're not going to go over them all but I'm just going to choose the add watermark feature now it says this is the current object that we selected was not a weed box do we want to convert it so we'll say yes and so now it converts it and you can see now we says www.easystonetemplates.com in the background and it's repeated over and over and over again automatically so it's a way to watermark uh, your images so now we can actually send this to a customer and we have our branding in place if we were to post this design to our website someone can't come by and swipe our design or at least the image of our design because we have a nice watermark uh, to that image so we'll go ahead and close that out and then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and choose the export proof image function where we can give it a name and well, I'm just gonna call it Eagle and we're gonna save it as a JPEG and we're gonna go ahead and we'll do 800 pixels or whatever we want and we we'll choose export proof image and then it will go ahead and export a JPEG image to the desktop called Eagle that's 800 pixels wide and that's how we can then send that file, either upload it to our website, or we can send that file to our customer uh, for approval. So you can see it says it's exported uh, successfully. So that's one scenario. Um, now, again, I didn't go through all the different features. There are a few other things that we might want to do to this design, like add the dimensions of the design or the stone count of the design. But let's take a look at another scenario. So another scenario that we often find ourselves is depending on how the file uh, that we purchase from our third party developer, uh, how that file is given to us. So here's an example. Here is a file from the rhinestone world that I've purchased. So if you've ever purchased files from the rhinestone world, um, you can see this is how they come. So it's the rhinestoneworld.com. And uh, so this is a file that I purchased and you can see how their files come. Their files come already color separated uh, but they have these weed boxes around them which is great but the the actual stones are not different colored stones and they do not provide the design together and it's actually perhaps beneficial but what I want to do is a I want to create a design uh, a, a compiled design to upload to my website for uh, as a mock-up so people can see the design complete and I might want to send this finished design to the customer as a simulated rhinestone design for approval so because this is how they give us the files we created a function here in easy prep to handle um, that preparation of the files for us very easily so let me show you how this works so in this case we select both uh, weed boxes so I select one hold my shift key down selected the other one so I've selected both of these yellow shapes and then I choose this option mark the weed and what that does is it marks those shapes and then it looks for any stones inside the shape and it gives us a preview so I can give it a color which in this case I'll just choose crystal and instead of process by color I'm gonna choose process now I am gonna add a couple of functions here I'm gonna add the weed box and I'm gonna add relocate so when I choose process it's gonna go ahead and process the design for us and you can see it actually copied made a copy of those stones up here and then it shows us the next preview which is baseball so let's go ahead and give it light Siam and then we'll choose process again and it will process that now all the weed boxes have been processed and now you can see here is our finished design so we have a new weed box around our compiled design our compiled design is, is put together perfectly the two parts are put together perfectly for us and now of course I can select that design come over here and choose the simulate option I can then simulate that design and now 
that simulation is complete and now once again I could add a watermark and I could export the image send it to my customer for approval post it to my website um, for where people can purchase that newly compiled design now there is one other option that we run into a lot and that is what if we're using a third-party software remember I said we could use a third-party rhinestone software and import that design here into CorelDRAW and convert it using easy prep so here's how that works so here is a PLT file that I exported from the hotfix era software and this is how uh, we export out of hotfix era and what we're going to do is select this design just like it is here come back over here to easy prep tab and this time we're going to choose to process by color again so we'll choose process by color we won't do the add we box or relocate because we're not doing the process function so we'll choose process by color again um, and it says that one of the shapes are not defined and they are and they are marked red so it's saying one of the size of these one of the sizes of this shape is not defined and that's actually because this is this design was grouped so now we have to uh, uh, so that was a mistake that I made so what we'll have to do is drag it back over ungroup it and then process right so now we'll process by color see it's good to show the mistakes so now you can see we have um, let's just go ahead and I don't know let's give this let's do fuchsia and then for the outside on okay that's our heart shape let's uh, use light cyan and then finally the outside of our M let's go ahead and do crystal for that so now you can see that the uh, we have our M and our heart shape and then what I might do is then I might go ahead and get into um, using easy stone to pick up so what we'll do here I'm just gonna do it without easy stone but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pick up and to kinda duplicate our M and then we'll go ahead and get rid of all of these red stones so we'll go ahead and just select these very carefully without deleting any of our other stones there we go and then we can kind of move these over and we can use our arrow keys to fine-tune the exact placement there we go so now we kind of have our combined design and then I'll go ahead and select that whole design and then we'll choose the add weed box function to add a weed box around it so now you can see kind of what that looks like and then if we wanted to we could use easy prep to uh, separate the stones so we'll go ahead and select all of those we'll choose the easy prep and we'll choose the export vector file option and we'll choose export we have to give it a name so let's just call it mom with heart and we'll choose export and it will go ahead and automatically do the color separations for us so now we were able to go ahead and send this file um, there's an EPS file on our desktop um, that we can then uh, send to our vinyl cutting software to actually cut the file out so you can see it's just kind of recreating the design for us and do automatically doing all of our color separations so now we have a color separated design ready to go you can see the mom the heart and the outline of the mom and then of course the completed version as well so that's just some of the features in the new uh, easy prep macro um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to sharing all the different functions here of easy prep with you